Chief John Green, Independence Fire Department. Um, this was a dream that's been back for years. And it was just something that we had some retired chiefs here that spoke about their dream. And this was something because of the tax dollars that we were able to put together. And it's something that we need for the safety of our department, the citizens, and we can work with other departments. It's been a long time coming. And we're hoping to be within a year from today. We're hopefully going to be out here training every day. Okay. And, uh, and uh, how much is this facility? Uh, it's going to cost a little over $2 million. Okay. And those everything. funds were derived from the uh, public safety public sales safety tax. Public safety sales tax. Oh, the fire department's very, very thankful for the uh, for what the citizens have given us and entrusted in us, not only for our safety but their safety. Because of their passing of this this uh, public sales tax for fire, uh, this shows not only that they care, but they've put confidence in us and a vote of confidence for us, and we appreciate it greatly. Okay, and for the firefighters themselves, what kind of what? What is the facility going to do for those guys in preparation for getting out in the, in the real world? It's going to give them real world training in a safe, controlled atmosphere where we can give them everything that they can see out there, but yet one push of a button, it's safe, it's controlled, and they're protected. So it will help the environment and all the green space that's out there today, and it will also protect them safe-wise and the training they need to keep themselves safe on the scene. How you doing?